Hey, what's up Refuge family? Hope you guys are doing well. Um, coming to you with a little word of encouragement today on the Refuge Daily. So this last weekend, me and my wife, we uh, we spent some time up in the mountains and we were taking our daughter to her first weekend at summer camp. And it was a really kind of bittersweet moment. It was sweet because we we're watching our daughter with a bunch of other junior high girls or those that will be entering into junior high. Um, get together and just spend time together with each other. And if you know that age group, it's kind of a strange age group. Well, we're watching all the interaction take place between the girls and uh, and we're just like, hmm, I wonder how this weekend's gonna go. I hope good friendships are made. Um, I hope there's time spent in the word. Uh, and I hope that all those friends get to have a lot of late night conversations um, around milkshakes and fries um, and just get to know each other deeper. Well, we were looking at it and as me and my wife are driving away, uh, my son starts to get really teary eyed and he kind of starts to get really sad because it's the longest that he's ever been away from his sister. And so it's like there's this missing component, this missing part um, within our family as she's gone, as we're going through this process of watching our daughter grow uh, and spend a week away from us. And honestly, it's, it's kind of hard. But as I look at it, and I think, you know what, for her, this is such a rites of passage moment, such a rites of passage week, uh, because she's growing up from being a little child where she was very dependent upon mom and dad all the time. And as she grows and she gets older, she's growing into wanting to be more of an individual and kind of find herself and who she is. Uh, and camp's a great place for kids to do that because they get to do that as they're surrounded with the light of the Lord um, and those that are going to be teaching uh, about Jesus to them. And so we're praying for her deeply and we ask that you guys would pray for us as well. She goes through this kind of rites of passage week. Well, thinking about rites of passage and think about developing and growing as Christians, um, it's really important that all of us understand that, you know what, um, we're, we're all growing and we're all developing to become, you know, just uh, more like Christ every single day. As we know, the, scripture would, the scriptures would teach uh, that we are saved, but then we are also being saved, meaning that we are saved when we come to the understanding of who God is uh, and who Jesus is and what he did for us. And we confess our sins and we're, we're saved in that moment, meaning God promises that his spirit will be with us and will convict us of sin um, and will help guide us in this life. But then as we are saved, um, we are also being saved, which means God's transforming us and we're growing deeper in the knowledge of who he is. And so as adults, even if we have been walking with the Lord for a long period of time, it's important for us to understand that we're never just done. We're, we never just arrive. We have for ourselves in this life, we have our own little rites of passage moments, those weeks or those days or maybe months or seasons or years we, where we go through a rites of passage like moment uh, where God is teaching us um, new things about life and, and really how to rely and trust more on in and on him uh, completely and wholly in life. Uh, unfortunately, um, we're not a bunch of junior high kids anymore. Uh, we don't uh, just uh, go off to camp and develop in that way. Our weeks of camp, our rites of passage moments feel a little bit different. They feel more like struggles and trials. Um, and we have to deal with a little bit more of the hardcore realities of life, but God uses those hardcore realities, the struggles and the trials to help form us and help us grow up, help us let go of the things that we need to let go of as well. One of the verses I want to give to you guys today is this. Um, it's 2 Peter 3.18. It says this, but grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ to him be the glory both now and forever. Praise God now and praise him forever. It is our job to grow in the grace, which is the love and the peace and everything that God gives to us and the knowledge of him. And we grow in that knowledge of him as we 
go through hard times, as we go through moments and we learn to rest and trust on him, we're growing in a deeper depth of the knowledge of his love. And so that's my prayer for you this week. Um, as we are a family uh, growing and going through a time of a rites of passage moment with our daughter, uh, may you be somebody and with you and your family, um, think about the trials or the hard times that you're going through as also a rites of passage, a time where God is uh, stripping you of things and teaching you more about who he is and how to just fully and truly rely upon him. So that's my prayer for you. That's my encouragement. I hope you guys are doing well. Remember to grow in the grace and the knowledge of God as time goes on and the depth of that knowledge uh, unfortunately only happens through struggle and through trial. And so um, I'm praying for you if you are going through something uh, and uh, just praying that you find truly the anchor of who the Lord is in this season. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.